if you come to my page to tell me what i should and shouldn't do i will honestly block you this tweet is not for the beta aunties 30 and above who are probably civil servants very rich coming from a what 21 22 year old who looks 33 Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it? What's it happening? My name is Omi Odike Nwacheko and this is Talk to Your Homie TV. Yeah, I love to give very sweet and juicy gist. And guys, see the gist that I brought to you today is a pot load of boiling hot sweet gist because see, Angel has been dragged a lot today. You know, Angel is a very expressive person, yeah? Well, she goes online to begin to express, you get me, her own values and views on things and people were like, what? They were just dragging her a lot by discussing Angel jail largely we're also discussing jackie b something is happening to jackie b and about jackie b that i'm like let us talk about this thing right and finally what tony man i don't know somehow she just finds herself in the dragging position what's happening today all the drags what's up let's discuss before i start please subscribe to my channel because this is where all the gist goes down here so go and click the subscribe button and give me thumbs up because thumbs up helps videos grow don't really stop Go and subscribe and give me thumbs up a big eh? Now let's start this thing. I want to start with Jackie B's own because that one is juicy. So let me tell you what happened here. Yeah? You know Jackie B is an ambassador to some brands. One is a skincare um company, yeah. They make creams to make you look fine and thing. Eh? Anyway, so she was trying to promote that um brand and she took a picture and put it on Instagram. Let's check the picture out. Jackie B dropped three pictures of her looking really hot sexy sultry very sultry you get me but she's trying to sell the cream to you let me tell you where it all began you know the video where she was dancing to michael's song yet yeah? i heard you are looking for some but this one exactly my last video i put it there go and watch it if you haven't watched it when she put the video online and she was dancing and she wore you know a, a like a bodysuit shirt but it was like half whatever she was looking sexy and she was dancing to it yeah somebody that i know i know where this person was coming from the person goes to the comment and says you're decent jackie b and i saw where that was coming from you get me i was like hmm and then some days later and also Jackie B dropped this picture where she's actually promoting the skincare brand. I saw the picture and in my normal content creation and gisting style, you get me? And I'll go and write in the caption, someone once called her my decent Jackie B, right? And let me tell you where the person's coming from. The person was obviously a white money fan. I wouldn't call it spade a spade here. Yeah? They don't like how Jackie B left the house and did not like pursue white money. And like even when she left, she talked about how she was now going to move towards michael and probably date michael yeah and we watch white money in the house still kissing jackie b's pictures you get me so the person was coming from that oh jackie b likes to form like she's a decent person ha 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 but look at what she's doing outside the house right so me and i said mm. Someone once called her my decent Jackie B. Do you get me? Of course, the comments went wild. People were like, how decent is she? And in fact, once Jackie B drops a picture now on the ground, like everybody just, like, I don't know, maybe maybe that's the way to make her feel bad. Or I don't know what it is, but they'll all just go and be saying, eh, is her son not watching again? Eh, but you know, that kind of energy, you get me? And the comment section was crazy. I cannot lie, yeah? And then... This morning, I come on Instagram. What do I see that Jackie B is doing? Jackie B is warning everyone, literally everybody that see. If you're going to come to her page, her page, you, her DM, you, to tell her what to post or what not to post or what to do or what not to do on her page, she will never have it. In fact, she will block you. Listen to her tell it to you herself. Hey, guys. So, I just wanted to say that if you come to my page, on my dms to tell me what i should and shouldn't do on my page i will honestly block you you know what yeah i mean let's be real why i like jackie b in the house was because of how classy and sexy she was dressing in the house i love to dress classy myself yeah so seeing her wear nice dresses and i've always preached that you don't have to be naked to look sexy that's what i liked about her but i think that when she needed to look raunchy and sexy she did i think that during the bikini party she wore bikini some people will say no omi she still found a way to cover herself i don't know what their problem is now do i have an issue with this picture she dropped <sighs> no do you know why because to me she's working it's like take for example me you're literally watching me almost every day making videos here but i don't leave my house 
I'm literally in my house. My husband knows exactly where I am. I'm not going out. To me, this is work. So you might look at me like, ah, this girl, you're always on social media, but I'm always in my house just making videos and working to so even bust our bubble behind this whole picture where she's taking and showing us how sexy she's looking she actually went to swim with her son and her son was there he was swimming and she was swimming too so i don't see anything wrong in that picture at all and i think like people should just calm down it's okay for you to go to bibi niger and not want to pass a certain image or or, or or like narrative about yourself it's okay for you to want to tell a story about yourself it's okay it's not bad you get what i'm saying so let's just leave her what do you guys think i want you to put your mouth in the matter because i think it's becoming interesting do you get me please tell me what you think in the comment section my darling let's now go to what tony hmm. tony said something tochi says my sister you go like calm down you're not tired of this your drama let's listen to what Watoni had to say so Watoni comes online to say I was going to sign another endorsement before the year ends but they withdrew because I am not controversial um uh, my colleagues do you all the way if he brings food to the table so she comes online and say ah at Watoni people love you for real I do you need to stop acting like everyone is out to get you this behavior has lasted for too long now hey hey for any brand to even come and meet you i want to sign a deal with you they've probably seen your instagram and seen the kind of pictures and posts that you post so I, I i don't believe that a brand will want to sign you and say you're not controversial enough i think that's a lie because why will any brand come and meet me and they're telling me oh i want controversy are you dumb why don't you do your assignment for coming to me? You should check my page and check and see what I'm about. And if you don't like it, why are you hitting me up in the first place? Or maybe she got an intel, because you know how brands are really having meetings and they say, who can we sign as our ambassador? And somebody called her Tony and they now check and say, eh, she's not really controversial, Sha. Do you get me? And maybe somebody in the meeting now comes to tell her. Now that's very possible. I see myself so valuable. Like, I know the work I put into this, my hustle and my trade. If you don't think I'm a cup of tea move it's okay and i'm not coming to come and be crying online and say i was supposed to sign him what's he concerning me baba move jaw the people that understand value will come to me i'll work with them promote their brand we move you get me yeah that being said i, I mean i'm looking for hair company to advertise on my page oh, no. you know let's do some hair deals let's do some hair deals let's do some hair deals i'm here for that but what do you have to say Sha? and told you call her out for touch you i told you they need to sit down hmm? And have a conversation we need to lock the door hmm? only touch and watoni sit down and talk are you guys done talking no stay longer stay five hours they need to just really really because all this cat and rat fight online i don't understand but what's your opinion though like do you agree with me or watoni or do you like oh me no really she had a point there let me know in the comment section my darling let's now move swiftly to angel before i start talking about the drugs i want to talk about what is concerning me a lot about food angel so you know since she came back from dubai she's been ill and a lot of them have been ill though. maria was ill cross was ill j paul was ill now angel like I don't know what happened in Dubai, but let whatever happened in Dubai stay in Dubai, you my darling. So back to Angel. So yeah, she was ill now. She actually said that she had throat. Let me just get the gist. Sorry, I've been MIA. I've been well. She has been really ill with a respiratory infection since she got back from Dubai. This is a formal apology to all her brand. She's working towards it. She's actually treating herself. That's what she said. Yeah, she's been sick, right? Now today I was online looking for gist for you because I'm your girl. I give you gist, my darling and i saw angel now come to say this i'm just like baby girl let's have a conversation so angel says to be honest this illness will just have to fight me we'll both throw hands because i'm resuming work starting today when when it's tired it will go i'm just like my baby girl see yeah if you're sick you're sick if your body is telling you that it cannot function money is good making the money is good getting the bag is good but staying healthy is a whole lot better for you you need to calm down and treat yourself. Angel has obviously gone through a spree of living life. You get me? Baby Ninja House, she was very active, took alcohol a lot outside the house. Of course, because you know her, like a fun girl, party girl. She has been out and out and taking alcohol. Your body is not wood. Alcohol is not the cleanest thing to enter into your system. It's not. It's not like eating fruit and vegetable. It's alcohol. You get me? So if your body is crying out for something, 
Honey, take care of you. Yeah? Let's talk about what Angel said online, you know, about her mental health and the comments I, I was seeing. Yeah? So Angel comes and says, being so uninterested in life lately, not interested in romance, even though men have always been boring to me, not writing anymore, not texting friends, um, just in bed, tired and overwhelmed, no social or love life. Hopefully, I get out of the loop. I'll blame it on, on the illness, yeah? And comments, yeah, was crazy. People were saying, eh, that she's trying to seek attention. But this was what she said in the house, yeah, about how she would just at some point just lose interest, yeah, and just want to stay at home and just not pick up her friend's call. I just hope that she's getting love because that's a very loud cry for help, you get me? And can we just stop shaming people that come out to talk about their mental state? Like, what's up with you? If people commit suicide, they will come and cry. If someone now comes to tell you about their mental issue, you have the guts to still go to the comments and be insulting her. Which kind? What, what? She's not in the house, so it's not a case of ah, she's trying to get um, sympathy so that we can vote her. No, she's not in the house. She's outside the house. She's literally coming to tell you that I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't find anything interesting. Send more love, send more care, send help. If you have a stable mental state, that's good for you, but not everybody does. And don't shut them out when they cry out for help. I have to just put it out there because people be going crazy online, but we have to put everybody on check. You get me? Now, let's now go to the drag because the drag was crazy. Listen, Angel was in the mood to tweet a lot today. She starts to tweet and tweet and tweet. And I was like, baby hey, girl, what's up for you? Don't you get it? Didn't you get the memo? This is Nigeria. Why do they do like this? Oh, look. So she actually came online to say, I really love women. Everything about them is soft and beautiful. She now goes on to say, Disclaimer, this tweet is not for the beta aunties, 30 and above, who are probably civil servants. And people went crazy on her. Welcome to the drag of the season because listen to the drags. Someone comes and says, very rich, coming from a what, 21, 22 year old who looks 33. Another person now says, 33 question mark. My mom is in her early 60s and look better than her. That's Angel. Body and everything. Hmm. Another person now comes to reply Angel and say, you go soon reach 30. It remains small now. Uh -huh. So come along with the same energy. You still be my bae, though. Another person now comes to say, girl, 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 why do you go this age shaming route every time? Waiting 30s and up aunties do you. Why do you assume your fans are less than 30 or below 30? This age shaming is not helping your above 30s ministry. Of course, this person is obviously 30 and above, yeah? Remember, you serve, go reach 30. Another person now says, my issue is with the civil servant part. Sounds very demeaning, and of course it's true, it sounded demeaning. As for the 30 and above, mm, she specifically said the beta one, yeah? If they aren't beta, then there shouldn't be an issue. Final one now says, y'all should tell this little girl the truth. What about those beta 18 to 29 years old? Even you, Angel, you can get to 30 and be beta because it's written all over you. You rant unnecessarily, girl. Take a chill pill. And let me tell you what I feel. Because even her mother came to defend her and said, Angel needs to just learn. As a public figure, there are things that you should not be caught doing and saying. There are things that you should say to your people around you. Don't come on Twitter and say it. Except maybe because you want the clout. At this point in time, that's it. Do you really want the clout? Because she's 21. So I understand. At 21, you want to be young, wild, and free. The problem, however, is that you are 21 and you are a public figure. What does that mean? That you would... You know how Facebook now comes to say, oh, um, want to remind you of something or what you wrote in 2009, all that thing, yeah? Well, you're, you're literally leaving marks that will live up with you till you get to 30. Some things you should just shut up and say to your friends outside because you you are now a public figure. With being a public figure comes a level of responsibility. We need you to be responsible. That is what I'm going to say. Because see, whether we are above 30 or below 30, we are all women. You get me? And I understand where she's coming from because someone like Angel is young and wild and free. She wants to, she wants to live the life. She wants to be happy. I mean, watching her in the house, even from the first day they, they called her name, Angel Smith, and she came from that the first day, Baby Ninja started. You get me? Yeah, their, their own season. 
And we saw her outfit. Everybody tried to drag her already. That, ah, what is this girl wearing? Where are they dragging her? You get me? So I, I can imagine the kind of drag that she will be getting. So she, she, she kind of wants to just tell you guys, I want to be myself. Yeah, baby girl, but see, you're a public figure. I'm sorry. I, I know that right now she wants to just be herself and live her life and be happy. Like, what's all this pressure? I get it. But if you go to be in Nigeria, Charlie, because you want to be successful, you want to be famous, you want to get money, you will get the money, you will, you will get the fame, but you will get drugs. Comport yourself, babes. Keep some things to yourself. Do videos. I enjoy your Insta story, but you see all these opinions. If no one's going to tell you, well, I'm not bitter. No, I'm not a civil servant. I'm going to tell you the tea, my love. Keep some things to yourself. Woman to woman. Years later, I know how you say, I don't care, I'm going to be, yeah, but when you're 30, 32, 35, you look back and you will hate some things that you just said when you were young, wild and free. That's my take. Then finally, Angel again. Hey, today, Angel came out to play. And we are here looking at her play again. But she came online to share another opinion. She now says, I am a really materialistic woman. I like fancy things. And I'm just not interested in having otherwise. Where the money at, my brother? Where's the money? She's asking y'all, yeah? All the designer posties and bling bling is what I want. And I mean, see, that's the, that's the thing. When you give a 21-year-old girl millions of naira, man, let's be real. Angel right now is controlling some millions that a lot of people, even at 30 and above, have not controlled yet. At 21, if, if you had given me... 10 million era. Ah, I probably would have it would also been buying stuff and things, but having studied finance, eh, and, and and having grown to this point and having had money and things, I would just let y'all know. A lot of Nigerians are not financial literate. There are a lot of things that you are wasting your money on, especially the entertainment industry. I don't know who has fed us that rubbish that we want to just stunt on everybody, we want to buy hair and bag and shoe and purse and Last, last, see, let me tell you the trick here. No matter how, how many bags you buy, there are going to be still more bags. More bags will be made. You get me? You want to keep changing. You are spending and spending and spending and spending. And it's stupidity to keep spending and not making more. And you want to know, you want to, and I'm telling anybody, quick financial tip for you, man. Invest your money, man. Yeah, buy expensive things, but don't allow tweets like this confuse you and make you feel like you have to save up all your money just to buy expensive things. No, my darling, get some financial, you know, literacy. Think, put your money in investment banks. Invest your money, let your money work for you. Let your money, you know that you can literally put an amount of money in an investment bank and the interest that they'll be giving you can be like your salary in a month. It can take care of you in a month. But you don't know these things. You are there killing yourself, suffering to save and to just buy pause. A pause. I'm going to be real. If you carry a Bottega bag now and I carry a nameless bag now and we're both going to the same place, we're both to go there. I mean, I have a dope personality. I probably might make more impact than you that spent your how much thousands buying a Bottega bag. Does it really matter? It's good to buy expensive things. I'm not saying it's not good. It's good though. But don't allow people make you feel like oh, your, your money should go on expensive things. On that note, I'll be introducing my financial, you get me, literacy like tip for you guys very soon. We're going to get there because I need you to learn. Invest your money well. Don't allow anybody to fool you here. Yeah. But that's it, my darling. You know I love you. You know I always come here with a tea. You know me. I'm your girl. I give it to you. Hot and fresh. Hot and sweet. Hot and nice. If you like this video, tell me. No, really. I want to know your opinion about everything I just heard in the comment section. Just tell me. Tell me the tea. If you think, oh, me, no, please. You're blabbing. Oh, me, you're blabbing. I'm sure the millennials will be like, oh, me, what's this? Please, you want to flex and enjoy yourselves. Well, tell me what you think about what I just said in the comment section, my darling. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I really do love you. Um, I think that's it, man. Follow me on Instagram, Talk to you, Homie TV. I love you so much. And if you have, oh, hey, well, I was, I was gonna end. No, never. I have a vlog channel showing you about my life. Like, uh, if if you like me, my personality and everything, then check out my vlog channel. You will love it. It's called Talk to Your Homie Vlog. The comments I get is just amazing. I'm not even faffing around. I'll put a link down below to one of the videos there for my vlog. Click it just just to prove that I'm not all you. Because you're me, I don't do it, bruh. Get me? Click it and just go and read the comments and see that people love it. Then watch the video and subscribe. I love you. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.